What's up, everybody? Hope your day's going good. You know what today is? It's a new day. And new day, new stuff. New day, new stuff. All right. So before we get into anything, uh, go ahead and hit that like button on this video. It helps me out like crazy. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell, and it'll let you know whenever I post some new content. That helps me out uh tremendously helps me out okay so if you don't know what's going on if you don't know what I'm here uh, doing uh, why I'm making these videos I'm going through my software sounds sound by sound spending time with each sound and uh, trying to create a little track around that sound based off of that sound so when I first got into this thing I downloaded a bunch of software uh, thinking it's gonna make me a better person better person well Obviously not a better person, but a better player and stuff like that, more uh, desired by people in gigs. But that's just not the case. Just because you have sounds doesn't mean anything. You have to know your sounds really well. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going through each sound that I have and uh, learning my sounds. Okay, so I am working through Omnisphere right now. Good old Omnisphere. I use this live. I use this for production it is a workhorse for me Omnisphere 2 is out like I've said before it is out at this time I just don't have it so um, I've got Omnisphere 1 though and that's what I'm rolling uh, rolling through right now all right so I am on sound 20 and Omnisphere has so many sounds so I'm plugging through plugging away with this thing and having a blast so today is um, that track that you heard at the beginning is yesterday's track from Age of Illumination Bass. And uh, today we will be working off of There Will Be Pain. Huh. Okay, well, the name alone is a little scary. And we've had some intense ones, a little, uh, some stressful tracks so far. And um, I have a feeling this might be one of them. Let's listen through. I like how it goes back. Man, it goes both ways. It goes up and down. Uh, so if I'm hitting that D, it goes up, slides real slow up to that E, down maybe to the C, but C sharp somewhere in there. And then it comes all the way back to the D. That's actually a sweet sound. Now, I'm already, it's already got my brain working. I'm trying to figure out, okay, what can I do with the sound? You might have some good ideas. I don't at the moment. I'm going to have to work through some ideas. Uh, because, so the problem with this is going to be, if I have anything too melodic, if I have too many, uh, too many melodic instruments going on, that slide going both ways is just not going to work. It's not going to work. So I need something to allow that dissonance. I need kind of an idea on this track that's going to allow that dissonance to do its thing and not get in the way. So it's going to have to be super open. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay. Let me wrap my brain around some ideas and then we'll be back at it. All right, I got an idea. Again, it's gonna have to be super open, but let's hit it.
Uh, something like that. Something like that. Alright, now let's see what else we can throw on it. Okay, we can definitely throw some tremolo strings on there. That'll definitely add to the chaos of this. go it definitely adds to the chaos gives it even more weight under there so okay now to see if there's anything else we can throw in there this this is one of those sounds too that just it fills up so much it's so sound score uh ish sound score-esque whatever however you'd like to say that but it fills up so much that it's almost one of those sounds that could just hang by itself so um, throwing these tremolo strings in does help, help fills up that foundation real strong, uh, creates that like, um, you know, almost half step, a little tension vibe. It's, it's not really going half step, but it gives that like quick uh, action tension. It's just, I don't know, enough to stress you out for sure. So let's see if, uh, see if I can come up with anything else that'll, uh, be good on there. If not, then we'll come back and just listen through. Okay, I'm going to hit one more thing. I've got some ideas here. Okay, so the reason I like that and had that idea, um, nope. Reason I like that and had that idea was just simply that I wanted something almost to counteract the, I don't know, counteract that craziness. So I put in something like that where it's lighter, kind of more, I don't know, not as intense, but then uh, also real major, uh, off that major scale so I don't know there's a little bit of a contrast there so anyways that's what I was getting at I hope you liked it and all that fun stuff let's listen back uh, one one more time here and then we'll head out
Okay. Yeah. I think we can uh, make that work. All right. So let's then... rate the sound before we head out. All right, so I don't have a rating on there. There will be pain. Okay, practically speaking, I'm probably not gonna use this. I'm, I don't do a lot of scoring, um, anything like that. I, I really haven't, it's not my forte. So for something to slide in both directions like that, even outside of the scale, it's just, I'm not gonna use it a lot. So I'll, honestly, I'll throw it at a one and uh, call it a day. It is, it is cool, and if I get in anything that's more tense, I'll definitely use it. But that's, that's going to be few and far between, I think, for me. So there we go. I got it at a 1. And uh, I think that's it for, the t for, for today, for the day. So I hope you guys are blessed. Have an awesome rest of the day. And uh, we will see you guys later.